Hello and welcome to another Maps Devlog. This is episode number 13 and or 12 actually. This is episode 12 and we'll be talking about Moai Art Assets. Uh, Moai is a game that I am developing in Flash. And while many of you might think that Flash is dead, let me just say right off the bat that it is not. What is dead is the um, Flash player. And it's not even dead, like just Adobe stopped like carrying it. And uh, they took it off the the internet, basically. You can't download it anymore. But there's really cool things and really cool people out there making really cool strides to get um, a thing called Ruffle that is basically an emulator of Flash uh, player. And so it works great. And you can just download that and add it to your um, website. And that's it. You can just keep running Flash like nothing ever happened. Pretty wonderful. New Realms do does that. And um, I think that's a great segue into the Newgrounds community. I think I would like to talk about a new about Newgrounds for a little bit. Um, Newgrounds is a website that has been around since probably the late nineties, nineties, I think. Um, probably like early two thousands. Um, it's basically where I'm pretty sure many of you like if you're around my age, which is like twenty five to like thirty. Um, you used to play games on Newgrounds um flash games you know that's the first time we started seeing actual um games out there and people started making their own games and stuff and it, it it's a thriving community uh we're still seeing a lot of people in the newgrounds community making awesome stuff um I, I, the thing i want to talk about newgrounds is probably like um it's polemic background you know it's because it is everything by everyone um, there's a lot of crazy things on there. Um, I'm going to open my art, my heart here. The first time I saw porn at all was on Newgrounds. You know, I was like a kid, like, I don't know, like 15. Whether or not that was a good idea or a good thing, um, you know, it, I, don't, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Um, but, you know, like there's all sorts of crazy things in Newgrounds. And porn was definitely, and it still is, one of the biggest part uh, of Newgrounds. But... Apart from those kind of things, there's also like really, really, really cool games. There's games like um Castle Crashers that came out of um, Tom Phelps and Dan Paladin's experiments on Newgrounds. There's also Super Meat Boy. If you ever, if you've ever played the hit indie classic Super Meat Boy, um, you should know that it started on Newgrounds. And Edmund Edmund Macmillan, um, actually Edmund Macmillan. <laughs> That that could be like his artistic name if he ever wants to do rap. Um, but Edmund, Edmund Macmillan, the creator of Super Meat Boy, started um his game development journey on Newgrounds, creating games for Newgrounds, and you can still play a lot of games that he made back in the day on Newgrounds. Um, I don't know. Newgrounds is like a really, really. Re this is not like an ad for Newgrounds, but for Newgrounds, but um, it's just a great community. Um, the people that run it, Tom Fulp, is an amazing person. Um, there's also like so many artists that came out from there. Um, people like Eagle Raptor, Eagle Raptor, you know, Aaron Hansen. You might know him from the uber famous Game Grumps. Um, he started on Newgrounds making animations. Um, because back in the day, that's what it was. On Newgrounds was like the only place YouTube YouTube wasn't a thing yet. So Newgrounds was the only place you can actually um, get games, see games, and stuff like that. Um, and it was, still is, one of the most creative places ever. I remember back in the day, um, there was this thread, probably like my first time um, doing something collaborative or community-centric. Um, it, it, it's called the Art Forum Battle Royale. And I'm sure you saw the game thing I made about, a while ago about um, the first that first um, Battle Royale. Um, the Battle Royale actually inspired um, my comic eras. This whole thing about battling other people and these crazy um, creatures and characters that people would come up with. That's like the basis of my Eros comic about how he fights. Uh, this, he's in this war, war planet and he fought, fights um, all sorts of crazy creatures, right? And um, even the, the idea of how Moai progresses as a game in itself. Um, not not the idea of the Moai stones, but like of you know 
you need to progress by getting the gates down that came like from a, a, a game jam that i participated in but never actually did anything for so I, I guess i never really participated on it but that came from an idea for a game jam that was being held on newgrounds and then all these years later i like retook that idea and fleshed it out and added my own um obsession for moai statues into it and then the game actually came out you know so there's a lot of things that happened back in the day that um not only that back in the day on newgrounds that not not only inspired the things that i came up with now but actually um inspired me as an artist when i was like on like 10 years old 12 years old um i remember i have a vivid memory of seeing and watching um this kind of videos like like i'm doing now right of Dan Paletti making art in Flash for Castle Crashers. Um, I used to watch that all the time. I used to watch it all the time back in the day when I was a little kid. I used to sit down in the library and just watch these videos of um, Dan Paletti and just painting for hours. And um, I still watch timeless videos. Still, I guess not as much as I used to. But, you know, that that was, for some reason, that, like, gave me this this joy. And um, it, I guess it since... I also have Flash back in the day. I guess it was like a like like some I I don't know. I felt like I could do that too, right? Like he has the programs, he has hands. I have hands. I have Flash. I could do this someday, right? And um, that gave me the motivation to go into it and create my own games and create my own art. And it's very interesting because I actually started making art because of Flash games, right? Um, I, I'm sure I've told this story before, but the way I started in this whole freelance maps arts thing was because back in the day, through Newgrounds, I started making games, right? Um, and back in the day was this thing called Moshi Media. And Moshi Media was like an ad service for Flash games, right? That that doesn't exist anymore, but that's where I got my first, like, money from. It was like five bucks or something from, like, making Flash games, right? So I started making these flash games. I remember I made I made a thing called Cash It, I think, or Cash Em. I don't I don't remember, but it was like you had to catch this little uh, weird orbs that would fall from the, the the top of the screen, and you had to catch them and avoid the spiky characters, right? And um, it was fun. Um, some people played it. I don't think you can play the game anymore, but people would tell me that the art was not very good, right? So. I wanted to be the best game developer. I still do. I still want to be the best game developer that I can be. So I took the feedback people were giving me and I started um, making better, better art. And um, as I became better at the art, um, other people in Moshi Media started hire hiring me and, and asking me to do the art for their games. And through that, I started actually earning money, uh, like $60, $100, uh, making art for these people. I remember I made some art, um, some vector graphics like spaceships and planets and stuff for a guy named Me Man, Me Man, M E M A N, thirty two, and I think you can still like play the games on Newgrounds, and um, that was the first time that my game, my art was on a game that looked good and it was not programmed by me. I think the only time actually, because um, I've done freelance stuff, but never to the like to the quantity that I did back then for that guy like I did all the art for him uh, menus characters enemies um NPCs everything um but through that right I started making like actual art and um after that I was in this um on on DB Hemet's um forum DB Hemet is the company that Tom Fulp and Dan Paladin created to make um games like Castle Crash Shares Alien Hominid, Battle Block Theater, and the other game, Game 3, I think. Um, I don't remember. I never played it, but I'm sure it's a great game. But um, I was on their forums, right? And um, I saw this banner on the signature of one of the, the artists that was there. And um, he w he had this thing was like, uh, I'll draw anything you want. And then I, I was I, that piqued my interest. So I, I clicked his link, and it was a Fiverr like, gig page. And I made my own Fiverr page. And through that, I started making art for all sorts of things, all sorts of games, all sorts of, you know, anything people wanted. I would do it for like $5. And this was when I was like 15 years old, right? So I start, I did that for a while, all throughout high school too. And I started making good money. I remember I like, 
I bought stud- I always I always wanted to be a rapper. I am now and you can follow my music on Spotify and all that, but back then when I was just a little kid, um I bought all my studio equipment with the money that I got making five dollars drawing five dollar drawings on Fiverr. Um, all of that because I followed Newgrounds. I, I even made stickers for um the Behemoth. Um they they were not official stickers. Nobody ever got them. Um I, I never printed them, I think. I just made them in Adobe Illustrator. People liked them. It it was fun. People like were having fun seeing me turn their favorite characters into actual um stickers, right? That they they could use on their I don't know, on their on their forum posts and stuff. Um, but back then, I remember there's a guy out there that was such a fan of um, Castle Crashers. He asked me to do a, tattoo, a tattoo design of um, the, the blue um, Castle Crasher doing like a fist of ice. And um, man, he tattooed that on his body. He even got uh, my signature on there. That was crazy. I was like, I don't know, like, like 16, 17 and a guy would had his my my art on his body forever. Uh, I'm not sure if he like got it removed. I hope I hope not, or <laughs> maybe I hope yes because uh, at six, 17, you know, I was not the best artist. Um, Ten years later, now I will probably do something better for him. But you know, it was just a really great experience and one of those things that really affirmed you as an artist. I guess um, throughout my life as an artist, I've had a lot of that of affirmations that you know made me feel like this was a good choice sometimes it's hard to think that art is a good choice you know especially when you come from a society that tells you all the time that what you're doing is just you know crazy you shouldn't be doing this it's just mumbo jumbo you know um because at, like the, the the myth is that if you do art you're gonna like die from starvation like you're gonna go hungry because you're not gonna make money this is a hobby this is not like a career path but i stand here um, as a prime example of somebody that has made a living through his art and through the art that he makes not just for himself but for other people that don't really have um the skills or the talent to do what he does you know but they still have ideas and um i guess i bring that to them you know the, the possibility of making art uh, or of of making their ideas a reality. I don't know. I just wanted to bend a little. It's been a while since I had one of these videos. I've done one of these videos. Um, you might not see that because I keep posting them and stuff. But essentially, I record this in batches, and it's been like I don't know, like a month and a half since I've recorded a batch of these. So it's just nice to go back and revisit like where I've come came from. Um, I guess we can talk a little bit about Moai and what I'm doing here. I'm just animating. Um, this is like, I I I love Okami the game, and one of the like the little things that really makes me happy in Okami is how he runs and leaves a trail of flowers behind him. So I wanted to do that for Moai, um, since the game is about growth and um, nature. I wanted to like allow you the, the player to 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 have this impact on the world around you, right? And um, the way you do that is by creating flowers. Um, that's stay in the screen as you run and then slowly disappear um but just to give you I, like the idea that um as he walks moai is actually um, affecting his environment in a positive manner which you wouldn't think would happen right because he's such a massive statue like he probably like weights i don't know like 10 tons or something so if he was real he would be stepping on stuff and just destroying everything but since this is my world and i can do whatever i want um, Hawaii actually like uh, beautifies and makes the, the the environment more alive and adds growth to this beautiful um island that he lives in. I don't know when Moai is gonna be out. I guess Moai will be out when it's out. I'm trying to work on a at least an alpha for it. Um, there's still a lot of bugs. There's still all sorts of things that I need to work on, but it's coming together. The art definitely helps. Um, it it's a step. It's a process, you know. It's uh, I go every little by little. Um, I'm not the best uh, programmer either. I'm still learning, reading books about Flash, Action Script and stuff. And um, I don't know. My is a really good, fun project to work on. Um, it's something I do like every other week. Maybe I give it like four hours a week or something. Um, 
And I don't know, um, it's just a solo project, big project though. Like there's probably gonna be, I want it to be like 10 levels. There's probably like three levels right now, right up to the cave. We have the beach, we have the little entrance to the forest, and then we have the cave. Uh, those three levels, after that, we're gonna have the hills, we're gonna have a secret mountain, that's five. And then we're gonna have like the mushroom cave. And then the sixth, seven would probably be, um, more hills and then eight will be the last part of the forest and then nine will be the the end garden and then ten is the cliff where he sits and waits and um that's gonna be like about what's what it's supposed to be i don't know it's why it's just like a 15 30 minute experience that takes <laughs> has taken me like three years to work to like develop but i've learned a lot through it and i hope you learn something through it as well as i keep making these videos and talk to, talking to you about um the process you know of making uh moai um here you're gonna see me draw more flowers um there's two things that he runs he does he runs and he walks right and um both of those actions have their own uh, flowers that he makes right when he walks he just makes like one flower and when he runs he makes a bunch of them it's just little things that i enjoy um to give you know to the world of Moai. it's just i don't know uh game development is very fun it's not easy it takes a lot of time but it's fun in the in the like in the regard that um you get to do all these crazy things that are on your mind and actually give life to your drawings your note um animation and game development and programming all those things it's like the next frontier you know because um you have art which is just like still images, let's say illustration, right? Like, which is just still images. Then you have animation, right? Where it's still images, but um, in a sequence and they, so that when played together, they move. Then you have something like movies, uh, which is audio and animation and still images. And then you have games, right? Which is audio, still images, animation, and then music and um, interactivity, all those things, right? That's for me as an artist, at this moment in time, it is the epitome of creation, right? To be able to make a game that has, to, to be able to make a world. I'm sure after this will be like virtual reality stuff. And I hope someday I do get to make um, Moai as a virtual reality kind of game. But for now, I'm just working on the art, doing my 2D thing in Flash, and hoping that this becomes something great. Like every other thing I've done, um, I'm just trying to like do the best that I can and, and learn to do better through the process of making this these creations and these projects right um, we're coming close to the end of the video so I hope you enjoyed this dev blog um, yeah we're just gonna keep doing dev blogs throughout the year I hope you keep watching them remember to like comment subscribe and that's it see you on the next dev blog peace